Okay, Dakota. Yeah, we're um, we're a little off task here, and 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 don't feel bad. A lot of students are missing the requirements for this so much so that I went ahead and I I posted an announcement. It's in the announcements area, clarifications on week seven discussion requirements. I've also uh, shared a message with each of the students, so it, it'll that is available. That information is available in the announcements as well as in your messaging. So basically, what we want to do is we want to take a look at all of the individual infographics that you're using to compile the poster. Right here on the assignment um, infographic poster part three in progress, that assignment is directly correlated with this discussion. So you want to follow the directions and objectives of this particular assignment, um, specifically this area. These are the types of infographics that you might use. So what you're going to do is include each one of these on a separate eight and a half by 11 and give a description of each and pointing to its success and the relevance um, in relation to the underlying theme and the general um, subject matter of the poster itself. OK, so we're looking for a repost here and um, like to do so here uh, um, as soon as you can. So if you have any questions, please let me know. But I would like to see that these requirements applied to, at least to your Sunday. But the idea here is not that we jump to the poster, okay? The idea is that we take a look at the individual graphics associated with the poster so we can ascertain their success in the, their relationship to the overall um, concept, presentation, and theme of the poster. So instead of saying, okay, I've got all these infographics, we're going to put them in a poster and we're going to critique the poster. No, we want to look at the individual, the merits of the individual graphics first, decipher where they can be improved, then we start compiling the poster itself. Okay, hope that makes sense. If not, let me know. I'll be glad to clarify. But be sure to take a look at the video and or the um, instant message um, in, within the class, in the messaging area of the class. So, um, okay, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thanks, Dakota.